I, I don't remember how to save this game. Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Mumkashi Chronicles. I gotta find a, another dynamite to kill these guys to get the golden carrots, but I don't know where they are. Asperger's still reading random questions on Twitter, even though I guess we ran out of the good ones somehow. Even though I have I have 13,000 Twitter followers, and I imagine I got a lot of replies we, to that we gotta, tweet. We gotta ask again next time. Do, um, we, do we really ran out of good ones completely? Pretty, I'm going through, I'm, we're gonna get through all of them in this, the, the next 15 minutes, so let's go. When are we gonna hang ourselves? Oh, yeah, you're right. These are shitty. <laughs> okay, not a question, but I showed my friends Pain Olympics today, and they hey. now hate me. Well, you know, you knew the risk when you showed it to them, and it sounds like it paid off because uh, sounds like it was a funny reaction. Can you please ask Digibro to unblock me on Twitter? No, I can't because he blocked me on Twitter. <laughs> Why do you think he's gonna unblock me so he can unblock you? Is one of them Gremlin Gizmos for the Wii? Don't know what that means. Exactly. Why do you exist? Exactly! Why do you exist? Because my parents fucked. Do an ISMA. You wanna do an ISMA? Let's do, let's do a, an insufferable social media argument right now. We just did one over Naruto. Really, like, the, the Naruto podcast is the closest thing to that now, because it's just like an awful internet debate that is, like, terrible to listen to on purpose. Except for when you get drunk and then it's like genuinely terrible to listen to. Ooh. Sorry. Yeah, I blame you for all my problems in life, so what? <laughs> this is Robert Floyd, I think fifth response. Um, sex is overrated. It's not about sex itself. It's about the validation. It's about knowing that the women want you. And the feeling of self-worth that comes with it. Yeah. And that's the end of the tweet. Okay. Uh, <laughs> do, you, do you know the, the guy on Twitter, Mr. No Name? Yeah. His tweets always make me laugh because he uses like eight hashtags in every tweet and he like hashtags random words. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, but it always makes me laugh. I really like that guy. Talk about how much I hope he him. listens to these, but I doubt he does. But if Mr. No Name on Twitter, he likes uh, a you, lot of my tweets. Yeah, you make so me laugh a lot. Maybe. Where am I going to get this fucking key? Talk about how much you love Rata. Oh, okay. Yeah. He, uh, he's, if you don't know, he does the rank 10 Yu Gi Oh! Man, I'm just walking in circles here. I got to find more dynamite. I don't know how to get into this fucking. Oh, okay. Let's kick it open. Oh, look at all this dynamite! If you just yeah, yeah just open the. All the door. doors that I went to were locked. Oh, this is gonna explode in my hand, isn't it? No, the the clock isn't set yet. Oh. You, you gotta kick it or something. Okay. Uh, he does a rank ten Yu-Gi-Oh, where he just like goes through these different Yu-Gi-Oh um, strategies and like tells you all the good and bad cards in them, and he puts a lot of comedy into them. And I, it was a delightful time doing a Yu-Gi-Oh duel with him on the main channel, and we're gonna do another one probably in a month or two and now that little karibo the guy who you know little karibo i i, I recognize the name but I don't he, he invented a bridging like doing an abridged anime yeah he yeah. invented that with Yu-Gi-Oh, and now he follows me on twitter and like me and him tweet at each other all the time so i think i might be able to convince him to like record like a, a 20 second intro for the video which would be like ever since i was 11 i've been watching his show so it would be a dream come true, even even to ha even if I paid him to do it. Is that like when I met Yoko Shimomura and I said like you inspired me to create music, and then she just laughed because she didn't understand a fucking word I said because she doesn't <laughs> speak Japanese, and I was still like, this is the best night of my life. Yeah, if, if I could even do that level of collab where I like, have him read like something, it, it would it would make my life. It didn't even matter that she had any I fucking idea what she said. I was just like, dude, I just talked to Yoko Shimomura. <laughs> Yoko Shimomura just pretended to understand what I said. She doesn't speak English at all. She speaks a li she speaks a little bit, but uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. But you were speaking Spanish because you're Puerto Rican. I don't know. You, you know how it goes. I don't know. That's why I asked the question. Uh, is there any Western cartoon reviewer better than the mysterious Mister Edzer? <laughs> uh. uh uh, I would, Rebel I would, Taxi, even though I've only watched like no, three of see, his here's videos. The thing, here's the problem with Rebel Taxi. He doesn't hold cartoons to moral standards the way Mr. Enter does. <laughs> I, I wouldn't know. If I you've don't ever watch seen, him. If you've ever seen one of his best reviews ever is the Family Guy episode where Meg, Meg snaps, right? And she shits on everybody. She makes everybody in the family cry. He tells Mr. Enter reviewed this? Yeah, Mr. Enter reviewed this. He, he tells everybody in the family, like, Peter, you're a fat fucking piece of shit, Lois. <laughs> you you pretend to care, but you're really one of the most selfish things. Like, Chris, you're the biggest piece of shit. Brian, you're the biggest liberal fucking fuckface douche I've ever met. And the whole family falls apart, and Meg realizes that... The family's held together because she... The, the family's held together the because she's bag. the punching bag. Yeah. And Mr. Enter... 
Did he make like, a whole dissertation about it? Mr. Encher got so upset <gasps> oh, no. on the review, on his scripted P-recorded review, <laughs> that he said, I am done with this. Please excuse me while I go break glass. He's done with camera. Family Guy? Yeah. He says, I'm done doing this review. Please excuse me while I break glass. He's off upset camera. because they admitted that stock Meg deserves to get bullied. Because the moral was that somebody would acquiesce to their own fucking abuse. And he had pre recorded stock sound effects of somebody breaking glass. And he pretended to walk away from the mic and break glass in the background. Oh my. And, you know, he, he pulled a, a Yamada's first time, but unironically. Love, I used to love Mars reviews. He used to be my favorite. But I realized whoa, 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 time he out. doesn't. He's in, our, he's in our secret Discord channel. Don't talk shit about no, him. I'm he's saying he used to be my favorite, but but now but but, but you he found out he was black and you gave up no, on no, him. No, he didn't. He didn't <laughs> apply moral standards to these, these oh, cartoons. Oh, you're giving an so ironic argument. I don't like okay. Mr. I don't like Mars reviews yeah. for his well thought out reviews, his great edited videos and all that. You know why? Because because Family at Guy the wasn't end of the moral. Day, at the end of the day, I don't think compass. I don't think Mars review would pretend to break glass on microphone off screen. No, he wouldn't. He's a if, fucking cuck. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Mars Reviews is definitely my favorite Western cartoon reviewer. And if you think Mr. Enter is anywhere near it, then you are the worst guy ever made. And my uh, fa my favorite Western cartoon reviewer, unironically, is um, uh, NTC, the this Nostalgia Teen Critic, Baseball <laughs> Sam. Why are you laughing? What's so fucking funny? Oh, I thought, I thought you meant Nostalgia Critic Judy. No! No! <laughs> was like, what? No, NTC Baseball Sam, his review of uh, um, Breaking the Fourth Wall episode of Teen Titans Go. <laughs> is such a great ha Wait, have you watched it? Have you watched. The Teen Titans Go? The Teen Titans Go review ab about. No, have you watched it? Yeah, it's, it's great. It's genuinely great because he's playing his own bully. I, I genuinely love it. I, I I was ten minutes into this thirty minute video, and I said, "Sheep over, come in here right now. I'm starting it I'm over." I'm gonna join the Critic Titans. We have to watch this together. Yeah, and then I joined the Critic Titans because I like that video so much. I'm I'm not even fucking kidding. That is one of my favorite YouTube videos. Why are you making that face? It's great. It's uh. fucking phenomenal. I'm gonna link to it. Somebody remind me if I forget in the <laughs> description. My favorite my favorite review of Teen Titans Go. You have to watch it. Anyway, what's the what's the next shitty question? I'm going, I'm going. I'm going! Not good. Man, I'm flying through this piece of shit game. Discuss whether or not Bernie Sanders can still win the 2016 election. 2016? No, 2020, if the if the DNC lets him be the nominee, he will beat Trump, I guarantee you. Not, I'm not saying that's what I want to happen, or necessarily what, what I would vote for, even though I would definitely vote for Bernie. Um, but he, I think he would beat Trump. I genuinely, I mean. Bernie would have destroyed Trump. Yeah, of course he would have. No. Of course he fucking would have. That was the most frustrating thing I had ever seen. Uh, yeah. do, I, do I really want to start? Yeah, go for it. We're, we're eight episodes into Bugs Bunny. Get political. H Hillary Clinton's, <laughs> you know what? As soon as you hear Asperger say Hillary Clinton, you know. I, I literally good. just said, do I really want to start? And he was just like, okay, so. E Rich? What, what am I doing wrong? Why can't I hit? Uh, do I gotta outspeed him or something? He's just gonna Bernie shoot Sanders. Again. Bernie Sanders. One of his speeches. Three representatives of Black Lives Matter came up on stage and tried to tear him away from the mic so that they could talk about their dumb bullshit. Right? Yeah, it was embarrassing. And Bernie Sanders took a step back and then stood there and let them do it. And I have never seen a <laughs> a worse PR stunt for BLM than Bernie Sanders just being like. It's all yours? Because they're so dumb that they they didn't know that Bernie was on their no, side. No, no, I, I, they just saw is, an old white is, man and assumed no, he's no, evil. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm saying Bernie Sanders just took a step back and was like, "Go ahead." Right? And, and then when they actually they didn't think that they'd have the ability to speak, yeah. and so yeah, they, 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 they like expected retards. to like fight and throw down. Bernie Sanders <laughs> just like, "It's all yours. You, you got a voice." <laughs> and they had right? nothing to say. So Hillary, ah oh, shit. Right? Hillary, goes I unlocked to the, it. Let me open it. I I remember the first debate. I'll never forget. I was already pissed because Debbie Wasserman Schultz fucking literally just threw Bernie off the island. Oh well, yeah. And betrayed him and betrayed every, people like me who, who believed in the Democratic Party, which I do not trust anymore. At all. Shit, come on. Fuck the Democratic Party. Yeah. I literally almost voted Trump. I did it vote was hard. for Trump. It was hard. Wait, who'd you vote for? Jill Stein? No, not Jill Stein. Oh. Who'd you vote for? Yeah, some third party cuck that doesn't matter. I, I pretty much threw oh, away Gary my Oh, Gary Johnson? Yeah. I like Gary Johnson. He's great. Yeah, I voted for Gary Johnson. Yeah, why not? 
I would have voted the shit out of Bernie. Not because I thought that he would do it, but because like he he meant. I, I felt like he meant. He actually wanted it. We all know he Bernie couldn't do like fucking ninety nine percent of the shit that he wanted. Well, duh. But, but he he but had the he was, his heart was in the right place. His heart was in the right place, and he had had a congressional he, history showing that yeah, like, he meant it. Yeah, he's like a genuine. But guy. what what I'm saying is my point is for bringing up the BLM. Donald Trump during the Republican na the Republican primaries, which is some of the, the greatest political entertainment of all time. Yeah, it was great. Everybody. That's why I Trump, voted for him because I wanted the president to be that funny. Trump would come in and just be like, "Shut up, little Marco," and they'd be like, "Well, Donald Trump, you've got 15 failed businesses. Shut up, little Marco." And then that was it. That was the end of the discussion. <laughs> and like, people, Jeb Bush would be like, "My mother is one of the greatest, most powerful women I know." Trying to get that woman to vote, and and then Donald <laughs> Trump immediately just goes, "She should be running instead of you." And just <laughs> that's the end of the conversation. He, and you know. <laughs> We have, after this is over, we should go rewatch the uh, the Republican yeah, primary debates. Everybody, everybody, little Mark, Lion Ted, I call him Lion Ted. He holds out the Bible, he prejudice, he puts it down, and then he lies. He <laughs> lies. And you look at Kasich. I have never seen a human being eat so disgustingly in my life. Is that what you want as a president? I don't. I don't even think he. I don't even think he ever said the word economy. Jobs or nation in any of his speeches, <laughs> and do you know what? It worked. He, he said you know jobs why? a couple times. You know why? Because he did. Because nobody could compete. And the first thing Hillary does, the first thing on the debate, her first joke. Pokemon go to the polls? No, no. On the debate, Donald Trump talks about his book or something. Immediately, Hillary tries to play Trump against Trump, and she says, "Well, I read your autobiography, Trump." Mm. Er, I read your autobiography, Donald, but it ended at chapter 15. And of course, her and her Jewish comedy oh, writers, I get it. her and her Jewish comedy writers are like, yeah, we did it, we defeated Trump! And 90% of the people watching at home is just like, they don't even the get it. What the fuck is a chapter 15? <laughs> what the fuck is a chapter 15? And, and Hillary's trying to be smart Stooping to Trump's level. When you argue with a retarded person, not that I'm saying Trump's actually retarded because obviously he's more successful well, he's than like, the He's like a troll us. and she's yeah. not a troll and she when tries you, to do When you do argue with shit. somebody who's retarded, they will bring you down to their level and destroy you with their experience. Yeah, because they're experienced at being Where retarded. They will destroy you with it. Bernie Sanders, shit. if the same situation, Bernie Sanders would say, we need to lock Bernie up and Bernie would just stand there and wait. He would just stand there and wait the same way when BLM was just like, the white devil! The cops are gunning down everybody! Everybody kneel! The national anthem's playing! Everybody kneel! Take a knee! Take a knee! There's the white devil! The white devil! Malcolm X did nothing wrong! Trust just for Trayvon! And Bernie Sanders just like, well, I mean, when they're done, I'll get back to the politics, but, you know, let them. Uh, you know. And that would have absolutely destroyed Trump. You know why? Because he's not getting the. A troll needs attention. You ever seen a troll? Desperately want attention, but then he just keeps posting. He just won't stop posting. That would have happened. But Hillary is just like, I could beat Donald Trump at his game. And, and she and she it lost and her failed. the whole fucking uh, election. And it the erection. Whole, it lost my erection. It too. lost my erection. Too. <laughs> Not that I would have voted for Hillary anyway, but why are you gonna try and I'm trying to beat the master you just at watched, his own game? You watched a fucking Bush lose to Donald Trump. <laughs> You're gonna try and. He literally, he literally didn't even bring up anything about George Bush, about the war in Iraq, about 9-11. He just said, He said he's Bush, low energy. Yeah, Bush is the weakest person on this stage right now. He's a weak, low energy. I prefer low energy. He's low energy. And that was it. It was over for <laughs> Jeff Bush. The one Bush that I think actually would have been a good Bush got destroyed by the by two words. You like Jeff? Low and energy. I didn't like Jeb, but of all the Bushes, I think he would have been the least evil. Oh, uh, okay. Lesser of three evils. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he got destroyed by low and it casing had no chance the moment he's just like look at the way he eats what a disgusting human being <laughs> all donald trump had to say was lock her up lock her up it's just like you ever been at a movie theater and then you just like even after he won and he like went to the rnc convention to accept the nomination <laughs> he was still saying lock her up they're all all over it because he because they because he knew i was eating he it up. knew that his next target was I hillary i was eating it up because i want hillary to go to jail too <laughs> i would never see my father again if he leaked one email but but like you fuck you don't do that bernie would have destroyed him and he bernie wouldn't have had to say a word bernie would know let him finish 
Then I'll talk about student loans and weed as soon as he's done. <laughs> and that's all you needed to do. But Hillary, what else did he say? She say oh, there was another joke. Pokemon go to the pool. No, no. During the debate, oh, fuck. I wish I could remember it. That Article 15. I remember. I remember. Donald Trump talks that he was gonna fix the economy, and Hillary li literally says like smirking and shit. And I swear to God, I could feel her Jewish comedy writers like <laughs> bracing and stuff. Like this is it. This is my joke. And she said, "I read your economic plan, Donald. I call it trumped up trickle down economics." Oh. Okay. I, I've never felt a stronger gust of wind of this joke going over people's head in my life. Like, my house fell over, okay? No, first off, nobody knows what triple, trickle-down economics is. Second, the people that you're trying to, to call out for trickle-down economics are not the people you're trying to win because people love trickle-down economics because Reagan did it. Third, why, why is Trump the butt of a, literally your slogan was love Trump's hate? That's free advertising for Trump, you dumb cunt. Shit. That's free advertising for God. Love Trump hate. But Love then Trump's again, hate. like, at that point, every single person knows Trump, so saying his name isn't really free advertising. No, it still is. It still is. Because, because. Acknowledging gonna, that the opponent exists is free advertising. You see Hillary, you see Hillary 2016, right? And then right under it. I mean, you're acting like Hillary lost in a landslide when she lost two days before the election when she Comey said won. that she was. he was. She could have won in a landslide if she had just shut her no, fucking she, poor mouth. She, I, I literally think she would have won if Comey didn't say she was under investigation. I think that's what lost it at no, the last no. minute. Because it was so fucking close. Every state was like within a thousand votes. They already had the investigation. She was already acquitted. She won the popular vote. Like, I'm not going to be one of those popular vote faggots, but like. She, it was so fucking close, I think that that last thing is what really- The fact that it was that it. close means that Donald Trump won in a landslide to me. Politically and- and Because it like, should have been a because, real landslide. Because it, it should have- There's no way- How did you fuck up that bad? <laughs> yeah. How did- You she's were the, the first she's the lady. worst loser ever. You have been Secretary of State for like three fucking presidents. You had the long- uh, You have a long congressional history in the state and you- There is no reason- but there is a reason. It's because you saw this clown and was just like, I gotta clown harder, boys. Yeah. And you you know what? You can't. You can't because you're a fucking dried Fuck, up witch. Come on. You're a dried up witch. Come on, come on, let me go! Let me fucking go! Let me get away from the guy shooting me! Oh my god. And Donald Trump actually believes what he fucking says. Unlike you. Because um, you have well, flip I, I'm not sure about that. I think he just says shit that he knows will be popular. Donald Trump believes in himself. Come on, I, I, who's a more confident man than Donald Trump? That's true. Yeah, that's true. I don't. I don't know Donald how Trump. he thinks. Even if, even if he knew he didn't believe it, he would convince himself that he believes it <laughs> during the yeah. fucking debate. Yeah. Meanwhile, in 1991, Hillary's just like, no, I don't support gay marriage, and everyone's like, boo, and she's like, ah, eh, shut up, you fucking queer lovers, did with she, that smile. Did she say that? No, she didn't say that, but she had a smile. She had a smile and a shake of her head. It's like, ah, eh, you fucking queer lovers. Yeah. Like literally two years, and now she's just like, we gotta let the gays marry. She is literally sponsored. Is is it weird to think that Obama for four years was anti-gay marriage? Like you would think that like the first black president would be the most progressive guy ever, but even he was anti-gay marriage for half of his presidency. He wasn't anti-gay marriage. He's never anti-gay. Well, well, he never came he, out in support of it. It's the same thing as Romney. Romney, Massachusetts. Romney was Massachusetts governor. He fucking passed gay marriage in his state. But when he had to run on the Republican ticket, he had marriage to, is between a yeah, man and a woman. Yeah. So Obama was just like, look. Well, why I'm, did it take him until 2012 to say it? Because he got elected twice. He's black. Why he needs every help he can get. So get the gay vote. Gay people don't vote, they're liberals. <laughs> liberals don't fucking vote. And all they do is complain about how shitty this country is. But I ask all my liberal friends, hey, did you vote? And they're like, no, my vote doesn't matter. You know what? <laughs> when 200 of you say your vote doesn't matter, of course it doesn't matter because none of you fucking faggot lovers are voting. Whoa, time out. <laughs> Come on, I'm about to beat him. I need to jump on his head. Go. Okay. Is that nothing hey, I beat the boss fight, so we'll see you next time on Game Grumps, folks. Are we gonna keep going tonight? You got. Keep going. You're not. I'm going until you. Yeah, pass you out. seem passionate about all this shit. You got me. I, I said I shouldn't start, and you know what happened? I started. Well, are we all out of Twitter questions still? There's. I think there's like two or three more. I think we've okay. gotten a few since I. Okay. Well, do you have anything else to say about Bernie and Trump before I end this episode? I was gonna keep going. <laughs> uh, well, okay. We'll continue it then.